hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how you can refresh a div periodically without refreshing uh, the complete page okay so i'll be showing you uh, this example with a simple html page uh, we will create a, a div tag inside the uh, inside this html tag and we will set it to refresh it automatically and uh, get a value of refresh get the value refreshed okay so i have my exam server installed in my pc so this is the server which i am going to uh, use for the php coding so if you don't know how to set up a simple php server go on to my video so i have another video how you can set up a simple php server okay so let me start uh, the server here now this i have installed this in my c drive exam uh, folder so inside this sd doc folder we will create our uh, pages okay now if i'm just uh, uh, go writing localhost it will be a page not found exception you can see there is no page in this one let me create an uh, a symbol index page now just going to create an index.php page so let me write this like like php let me open this in my notepad uh, plus plus and uh, write my name save it and if i'm just going to refresh the local host page it's written uh it's giving my name so which means our server is okay okay now uh we are doing this actually with the help of a, a jquery uh library we have to add it let me write uh, the code here so i'll explain how we are going to work out that okay now for demonstration of uh, uh, the page i have just searched like this html web page example with source code so from this link i got a page like this with a basic uh, uh, web page only html and the small css they are using okay now i have just copied this uh, to our index.php here i just pasted it here okay and if i'm going to this is the localhost page now okay so we have uh, just copied a simple uh, html page with a small design and uh, even uh, the css is good enough with the left sidebar and the right sidebar okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, refresh uh, for example i'm going to refresh this heading with uh, a, a small uh, like i'll show uh, the time here so if uh, uh, the the div is refreshing let the the time change okay the current time will be showing the okay so we, we have to find out this one from the page copy it and i'm just searching it here so i think uh, this is the one left heading okay we have two here left heading one two three let me change the name as my name here now saving this and if i'm just refreshing you can see this is the line of code with uh, that h3 tag here okay now we are going to import uh, the php time to show the time there now let me write uh, rewrite this code to print uh, the current time the using php okay so it's done like this now i'm giving as echo date and inside this we can set the format of the date it is like hour uh, minute and seconds yes that's all if i save this come back to our page and just refresh it here you can see this is the current time okay now you can see this is fixed which is not changing okay if i'm just uh, uh, refreshing this one you can see uh, 10 seconds has been gone so the time changed but every time we need to refresh uh, this page to get it changed okay now we are going to set it like uh, this uh, should be done automatically and without even refreshing the complete page okay now uh, we have to add a javascript library as i told so this is the uh, library i'm going to just copy in this uh, link from here and just paste it here okay now we have added successfully added the javascript okay now i'm writing a javascript function to load uh, something in that div okay now let me write that here
yes i have just uh, written a code to refresh uh, a div with uh, the div id as a div refresh so what we have to do is so this is our code we have to create one more page so that we can just call that page and make it view in this section okay so for that i'm going to create a new page here so let the name is uh, load dot php and uh, i am just opening this one and i am copying the line this complete line from here to this page okay now from here i am just creating a div tag here to call that load dot php here so it will be like div and just give the id name as uh, the one which we have written here the id name is div refresh copy it and uh, paste it here okay yes that's all now you have to set the to load that php page here so it will be like load dot php okay save it and uh, save this here okay now we have uh, uh, set uh, to refresh that part uh, to refresh every th 3000 milliseconds so or three uh, three seconds okay now let's see going back to the page and just to the page and just refreshing you can see every three seconds this will be refreshed you can see now it's 45 now it's 48 okay now let me refresh it uh, it's working now let me refresh it every one second let's see how it works make it one save it and just refresh it here you can see it is getting refreshed every single second okay so our system is working we have set it to refresh a part of the div automatically without refreshing at the entire page okay now uh, for example you can call uh, from uh, the load.php you can even call other uh, your database or data dynamically you want to fetch from any other site or any other site so every one second this uh, div will be refreshed and your data will be updated uh, on your page without any problem okay so i have uh, set it a big page here let me uh, resize it i'm just going to create one more page here yes i have just created an index one dot php as you can see this is a simple page and uh, this is uh, have the function and just a div tag to refresh that okay so it's same way it is calling the load dot php okay now let's uh, try this uh, from our local host page it will be like uh, local host index one dot php okay yes you can see it's getting refreshed every single second okay so our uh, testing is completed hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching